Hey everyone, my name is Ida and this is my third video painting in watercolor. I hope you enjoy it. Today we're gonna paint ocean, ocean sunset and also ocean in the morning. So we're gonna do two paintings. I already did a few sketches and uh, you can either do two separate paintings on smaller paper or one big painting separate the paper in half do the sunset on this side and the morning ocean on this side that's what i'm gonna do i think um, that way you're gonna create a better effect and the painting is gonna be more interesting rather than just one painting of sunset or morning ocean so for this painting i'm using for the sky i'm using a big brush flat brush this is very inexpensive brush and um you can, if you are painting in a smaller scale, you can choose number 12 flat brush and also round brush number 8 or 10. And also it's better if you have uh, number 6 as well, a uh, round brush. The paints that we're going to be using For the morning ocean, we're gonna have only two colors, ultramarine blue and um, blue-green turquoise colors. And for the sunset, we're gonna have do, uh, those two colors and also we're gonna add cadmium red, lemon yellow, and also uh, we're gonna use white gouache instead of watercolor and we're just gonna use a small bit of white gouache we don't need a lot if you don't have white that's fine we, you can just yellow in, use a yellow instead and also we're gonna need two containers of water and your palette i already put the paints in my palette and a pencil and the paper that I'm using this time is called arches paper last time I used um, Stratmore so I'm gonna uh, put the description for the paper and all the material that I'm using below so for this one let's say I'm gonna divide the painting into two parts and I like my sky to be bigger than the ocean. So I'm just going to come here. You have to make a decision if you want your sky to be more or the ocean. So I'm going to come here and just draw a line here. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm going to paint, draw it a little darker so you can see. There. And since I'm drying on this side, I'm going to go ahead and continue, leave the middle part open on this side. So this is going to be my sunset. This is going to be the morning one. So we're going to start painting. I'm going to start with the sky. First, I'm going to mix my paint put put water in the palette and use the blue one mix it with water like this mix more because we want it a little darker watercolor tends to get lighter so it's better to have it a little darker but not too much because, because then you cannot uh, make it lighter. So what we're going to do the same way that we did in my um, previous videos, you're going to wet the paper. But try to just leave some parts of it white. You don't want the whole thing to be watery. A little more maybe, just a little more. Okay, and now you're going to put the brush in the paint and start from the top and kind of let it run. 
I love the watercolor effect because it kind of paints itself. You see the way that it drips down, it creates beautiful effect. And then I'm just going to try to smooth it out at this part. Let it dry a little and then we're going to paint over it. But for now, we're not going to do anything. Okay. I'm just going to lift the paint a little. I like to leave the horizon line a little lighter. So, um, okay, now we're going to come down here. We're going to mix the blue. Put some of the blue color here. Just a little. The same mix that you had. And you're going to add a little red, just a little bit. You don't need too much. Well, this is too much, but let me clean it up. Because we want to create the horizon line. Okay. So this is the color that you're going to get, blue and red. So you're going to get the color. Okay, this is dripping again, so we're just going to try to clean it whenever it drips. And we're going to come here. And just draw on this line, just like that. And kind of bring it down a little, just like that, okay? Okay, now you're going to go ahead and use your flat brush. We're going to start painting the waves. Okay. So for the waves, for the distant waves, we're going to use a little blue again. And just a little red, maybe just a, li a little tiny bit of red. Mix it with blue. And we're going to start painting the distant waves. So this is the way that we're going to do. I hope it shows in the camera. Okay. So you're going to start. Kind of. The wave effect. I don't know if it shows in the camera. I hope it does. So. It's like going upward and coming down, but not too much, just creating the waves in the motion. Okay, now we're going to leave this one. Okay, these are the lines. They're kind of uneven lines. Just like that, like mountains, small mountains. Okay, so now we're gonna mix the blue color, only the blue, ultramarine blue, with water. Okay. Make sure to clean your brushes in between painting so you're not gonna put the dirty paint on your paper. Okay, so you're gonna get some of the paints and start painting the foreground just like that and um, you kind of want to leave the middle part a little lighter so i'm just trying to more focus on the sides and then maybe i painted too much here so i'm just gonna go ahead and with clean water i'm gonna lift some of the paints just like that. Okay. 
just like that okay so it's already starting to show the waves well we're gonna start working on them so um we're gonna go ahead and this time mix blue and the green color that we have okay just like that because we want to have that greenish ocean color we don't want it to be only blue so this is the color that we're gonna have and maybe i'm gonna choose a little smaller brush for the distance waves and get some of the paints and kind of create the shadow for the waves but for the distance waves you don't want to be uh, you don't want to focus too much on the distance waves because they're not visible to the eyes so uh, we're just gonna use a little paint just like that and we're gonna start let's say I want one of my waves to be here so I'm gonna start creating shadows here like that And you want to leave the upper part white because that's going to create the effect of the waves beautifully and then you're going to create the tights. Okay, so now I'm going to come down here. Just like that. And you want to kind of smooth it out with clean water bring it down like that you see it's starting to show the waves okay and maybe i'm just gonna do a little one here because i don't wanna do it too much i don't want to overdo it so maybe just just like that and then I hope you can see it in the camera okay it's just um, it takes a lot of practice so um, whatever you do is right it doesn't matter if you choose to a little you know, use a little lighter color or darker color this is your world so you can do whatever you want but basically this is the way that um, creates ocean waves and it's more simpler there are other techniques um, I checked youtube you know like a lot of times and then i i learned a lot from you know like different techniques but this is the one that is easier and it makes more sense i don't know i like this technique but then again you go with whatever you feel like it so okay i think i think this is kind of a little too much but I'm just gonna smooth it out here a little and then we're gonna uh, put a little darker shadows again and then I'm gonna come to this side do the same thing because basically ocean waves are coming together so this side and this side we're just gonna kind of bring it together so something like that And then maybe just a little effect here 
I'm gonna make it a little lighter because this is too much. This is in distance, so it has to be a little lighter. Something like that. And then um, I'm just gonna connect this one to this side and also come down here and just create this motion in here. Okay. So these are just a little, you know, like techniques. We're not going to be completing the painting because um, it's going to take too much time. I'm going to do the other side too. But um, this is basically what it looks like. Okay. So I'm just going to get my bigger brush. I just want to smooth out this area a little because I don't want it I don't want it to to show too much lines. Okay, I think this is good. Okay. Now again I'm gonna use my blue color, just the blue one. Mix it with water again. Make sure your brush is clean. And this time you put the paint, brush in the paint and start painting the sky again. You just want to leave some, some of the parts white. Don't want to paint everything. Something like that. I'm just going to get this round brush now and use the same blue green color that I used for the vase and come down here on the top of each wave and create more shadows to give it that special effect and create. Um, the illusion of the waves okay something like that and then like that and also this one just bring it down clean water and just bring it down just like that okay something like that and then leave this one um, lighter because that one is in distance and you're gonna come down here and paint this one so the waves that are coming from this side your uh, brush the motion is gonna be towards the center and from this side is going to be again towards the center so the waves are coming together from right and left just like that okay something like that so these are kind of crazy waves i think this is good i'm just gonna paint a little here okay so to create um, that really beautiful, the white um, effect on the waves, we're going to get the gouache. If you don't have gouache, white color, you can use your watercolor. It doesn't matter. I like gouache because it's opaque. And um, for the waves, it's actually, it works better. So you're going to get the smaller flat, flat brush. And... Just put a little water and right on the top, just put the uh, white color. 
nothing on area just here and there just like that something like that okay Okay, and also here, we already have white on this part, but also we can just emphasize it a little more. Okay, and now I'm going to use a little shadow underneath the whites, just a little, just to bring out that texture of the waves, just like that. Okay, something like that. And also, I want to paint a little more here, maybe. Okay, and also on the this side you can make it really dark because it's going to create because usually the um, waves are darker when they're closer to you so this is going to create a beautiful beautiful effect and also maybe just a little white Something like that. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and um, just paint a little here, not all the way, just the corners. I'm going to clean up this area and maybe just do this. So we're kind of done on this side. I mean, you can still continue painting, but um, for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to go ahead and finish it up right here. And we're going to go ahead and start painting on this side. So for this one, I'm going to go ahead and use let me use my one of my clean brush because I want to start from the center. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to get a little yellow paint and start painting the sun right here. Okay. Make it a little darker. Because like I said, watercolor tends to get lighter, so... You just want to make it a little darker and then bring the sun here just to create the reflection. So we're going to start from here. You can just go back and forth just like that. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and um, paint the horizon line. For the horizon line, we're going to go ahead and mix red with yellow. Maybe a little more yellow to kind of get this, this color, orange color. And then we're going to come here and just draw this horizon line. Don't do the center yet because we're going to mix up a little yellow. Okay. Get more yellow, mix it with the mixture that you have already, and then just very lightly paint the center. And just smooth it out a little because this is too 
you don't want your lines to be too harsh so kind of bring it down just like that just like that something like that okay and then you're gonna try to leave above the horizon line you're just gonna try to leave a little white area you don't want to paint the whole thing so you're just gonna leave a little white area space between the sun between the horizon line and also the sky so now we're gonna start first painting the around the sun so again we're gonna use yellow and a little red just to create this color okay and then maybe mix it a little bit water and just horizontal lines just like that try to paint just around the sun and then we're gonna kind of mix it together but for now just go around it just like that okay something like that and then a little darker maybe make it a little smaller this is too something like that I'm gonna lift some of these paints because it is too dark okay. and now I'm gonna get more of the yellow and just go over the sun again make it a little darker something like that and then bring it down a little and the same color red and yellow you kind of create these lines And to create the reflection of the sun kind of go like that just like that just like that maybe go over it just like that it's gonna create the illusion of reflection of the sun in the water okay so I'm not gonna I'm gonna go ahead and use my bigger brush this time and mix blue green together for the water and also I'm gonna mix a little red because this is sunset and we want it to be a little darker so I'm gonna go ahead and this is super green so I'm gonna mix a little blue with the mixture that I have already and also a little red Okay, and I'm gonna get a smaller brush and maybe clean this area a little. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and something like that. Just try to kind of go back and forth with the lines. Don't cover the whole area because you're going to create the waves, okay? Just like this one. So the bottom part is darker because it's closer to you. And try to leave the center area a little lighter. So we're going to kind of go like that. I'm just painting fast because I want this to be finished Soon, so that's why I'm kind of painting it a little faster but basically this is the way that you're gonna be doing and now I'm gonna smooth it out a little because this is too dark maybe these areas 
with clean water kind of go over the painting and try not to paint over whatever the reflection that you have already painted just go over back and forth back and forth something like that okay and now we're gonna go ahead and paint I think I dropped my brush but it's okay I'm just gonna use this one so we're gonna go ahead and use the same mixture that we have and start kind of creating little waves okay this is already wet so it's not holding the paint I'm just gonna wait I'm gonna go ahead and paint the sky for now so to paint the sky I'm using blue and red and more actually blue so and then with clean water I'm gonna go over the paper something like that and then I'm not sure which one was the paint of okay, blue in this one okay so I'm gonna go over the wet paper something like that try not to cover the whole area okay and now get the red paint just the red paint and just go over just like that it doesn't matter I mean we're gonna um, we're gonna lift the paint so just let paints you know get mixed together because they're gonna create beautiful effect and then get some yellow and start painting just like that if you feel like the paint is gonna drip on the sun just get some paper and start scraping it off just like that and you can at this point you can just go ahead and kind of go like that go over the sun but very gently you don't want to cover the sun with the red paint just something like that to kind of create very gently okay something like that okay now we're gonna go ahead and again red and blue color just a little to create the sunset effect and again I'm just gonna clean up the paint and now I'm gonna use more yellow and start painting this area to bring that beautiful yellow color of sunset in here and mix it with a little red because it's not yellow yellow it's kind of a little reddish orange yellow so something like that and then smooth it out again this is the beauty of watercolor because you can just do layers of beautiful washes and it creates this beautiful effect okay so now we're gonna start working on the sun a little again put more yellow and at this point we're gonna use the white the white that we have from gouache and we're gonna paint over the yellow especially around the sun but you don't want to cover the whole sun with white paint so kind of just some parts of it something like that and then again we're gonna create the lines again because I think some of the water dripped here so it's okay I mean always brings up beautiful effect 
so um, it doesn't matter. And then we're gonna get this ocean color again. Just with clean water kind of go over it. Something like that. And if you want it to be a little lighter, you can get a paper and just kind of go over it because this is like distance you don't want it to be too green okay something like that and just lines here and there something like that and then you're gonna get the red color mix it with yellow again and in here you're gonna come creating again these lines and we want to kind of separate this part only one part kind of like that creating kind of cloud effect something like that and bring it out like that Okay, and now we're going to go ahead and I think this part is dry, so we're going to start doing some small waves, just like that. And for this one, since this is sunset, we're going to go ahead and use a little red, mix it with this dark blue-green color that we have. Because this is basically night sky, so something like that, and brings it brings more effect. So, and you don't want it to be like even lines. Again, mix it with a little red on this part and start creating. like that, the lines, the waves. Okay. A few on this side. Okay. And maybe just mix a little red. Just to use beautiful colors. And uh, this part, we're going to use a little orange color, just a little. Just a little suggestion of wave, so we don't want it, we don't want to overdo it. And also, this one, maybe I'm just going to go ahead and clean it a little, like that. Okay. I'm just going to put a little, just a little white, you don't need that much, on top of the waves. Because the, the white of the paper is already showing through, so you don't need to use too much white. But still, you know, there are some parts that are covered with paint, so we can just go ahead and use white. Okay. And maybe... This area, let me just clean my brush. Okay, I think this is too red, but it's okay. Okay. Something like that. Something like that, just to create. You can just continue until you kind of feel like it's finished. But like I said, for the purpose of this video, I'm, I think I'm, I'm going to consider this painting done. But you can still work on it. I'm going to go ahead and maybe use a little more. Okay. 
just a little more red maybe to bring the this yellow effect of the sun so something like that I think I'm gonna stop right here um, you can go ahead and sign your name I don't know what I did with, with my small brush okay here it is so I'm just gonna go ahead and <clears throat> I get tempted to do this one too just let me maybe paint a little here because the watercolor when it dries you can paint over it you can continue painting you know over it until you get the desired effect so for this one maybe you know i'm just gonna continue later on but for now i think it's done you see when you when it gets dry and you put more darker color it creates that a uh, 3d effect which is really nice and brings the you know like the ocean <clears throat> The waves closer to you okay i'm gonna go ahead and sign my painting <coughs> i think i'm gonna sign it with blue color a little mixture of red and maybe i'm gonna sign it on this side because that side is not gonna show so just something like that okay so this is the final painting when you remove I'm just gonna remove some of, some part of it so you can see the painting I'm gonna use some of this okay. Okay, this is the final painting as you see it's kind of interesting to create two um, to affect morning and also sunset I hope you enjoyed this video so if you like my video please like it and also um, make sure to subscribe and leave a comment below and thank you so much for watching my video until next time Thank you. Bye-bye.